Walleye spawn every early spring along the rocks of Nebraska's dams. Anglers may camp on the rubble throughout the night to catch a brute or two. At Lake McConaughey on April 8, 2010, this lunker, caught by Brad Cochran of Imperial, was just two ounces shy of being a new state record. During the spring spawn, Gaiman Park's fisheries biologists set nets to catch walleye or send up walleye with a mild electrical shock. The fish do survive these collection methods and the later taking of their eggs and sperm. After capture, the fish are placed into bins or water cribs. The females are separated by whether their eggs are already spent into the lake, ripe, or green, which means the eggs will soon be ripe. The green fish may be held a day or two until the eggs ripen or they're simply turned loose. Eggs and sperm are massaged out of the fish. Water is added and fertilization is further achieved by stirring the contents with a turkey feather. Then a fuller's earth mixture is added to coat the eggs. This keeps them from clumping or sticking together. Next, the eggs are placed into plastic cylinders called jars and rinsed by a unit called the sow. Then the eggs are taken to our hatcheries. Fry will emerge in about two weeks, feed briefly on their yolk sac, and then get released into our lakes. Some of the hatch is allowed to age 40 days to fingerling size before being stocked into lakes. Many of our lakes have a low rate of natural walleye reproduction, so the stocking program is a big help in maintaining good walleye populations for anglers. Here's a little bit of trivia. In the spring of 2010, the egg collection work was very impressive at Lake McConaughey. On the night of April 8, 359 females were netted. This was a record for one night on any Nebraska lake and shattered the old one night netting number by the dozens. Also, how many walleye eggs are in a quart? About 120,000. In 2010, at Lake McConaughey alone, 338 quarts of eggs were collected. Times that by 120,000 per quart, and you get just over 40 and a half million eggs. Survival of the eggs varies from jar to jar, anywhere from 50 to 90 percent, but at least 70 percent survival is the norm. So, the next time you catch a walleye, just remember, the fish you caught might have once been an egg from Lake McConaughey that was raised in a Nebraska hatchery.